Hello YouTube, I hope everybody is doing great and got into 2025 safely and I have finally uh, to 99.999% finished my SpeedyB 5 inch DC slash deadcat drone my motors finally arrived after two months and uh, this is it let me show you the last details that I did so first of all I did 3d print this very simple device and use this uh, handheld uh, microphone or camera holder that you can put together and be handheld or put the legs out and put it on your table it has a regular one uh, one fourth of an inch uh, screw so that goes on here it's just printed with TPU because that's the best filament that works on my printer and I'm out of uh, PLA so anyway it works it just holds on to on the bottom and then it holds in here on the openings or in the front legs and you can put it on here and it's not going anywhere so so much for the holder and uh, here now you can i think i don't think i showed you the side panels that i designed so these are the side panels I designed and then I redid the tailpiece to get the same design on here as well. Plus I lowered the, uh, you can hardly see it, uh, lowered it here. So the side panels are also uh, going through the uh, spacer there to hold it in place. And what I also did, um, the camera, the walk snail uh, moonlight kit camera, was sticking out pretty far out the front. And at any crash, front will crash, it would definitely get damaged. This is just a lens, um, but still, I wanted to eliminate it. Plus, I had only these silicone pieces in yellow left on the whole build and it was kind of like an eyesore so i did uh, practically hit uh, two birds with one stone as they say i moved the camera back eight millimeters made a custom bracket that's on the inside and then this uh, top piece so i can screw it back on here again and uh, have a fixed angle of 25 degrees which could be all of course changed but i just did it for now like that and now it's not sticking out and if i would take off the lens cover uh, the filter it's not a lens cover it's a filter uh, the camera would be recessed even further plus i did print this uh, made this bigger front bumper and that is also very nice now and the gps and whatnot i showed you that before oh and um <clears throat> i did use those cable covers that i had ordered let me show you real quick these things here and as you can see they go well below the motor and all the way into the side panel so i don't know if it focuses or not but um that way all the cables are hidden from view well you can see them through the plastic here but there is no cable sticking out and what i also did i told you i think before put neopixels in the same covers here and I went of, as far as putting uh, designing end caps for those for the here are they closed and on this side they have a small slit for the wires to go in and I used silicone wires for the whole setup and that's actually the wires that I used and um, 
I did all black on here because I did not want the colors to peek through here. So, and I made this new bottom cover. I did leave off my name and the speedy B and whatnot. And just looks nicer like that. And this one attaches here magnetically. I have some magnets down here that hold on to the screws. And here you can see the wiring. As I said, all black. You have if you do something like this, you have to be very careful, check three times before soldering it. So you won't mix them up. And then have black, red, and blue going into the drone and attaching to the flight controller. And um, I think it turned out great. And if I lose this cap, I just print another one. I don't know, it will, in a crash, it will most likely come off. During flight, it should be, I mean, it's pretty solid on here. And now I hear you saying it will mess up the magnetometer maybe on the well the magnetometer is I think on the GPS right so the flight controller has only a barometer uh, anyway I will see if it flies or not and I also <laughs> did print uh, the hex cover here on the bottom and just glued it in because otherwise I would have to make another part on the inside and screw it down this way I just glued it in and it fills the gap it looks nicer here you have the one that comes with the speedy B so that's translucent you can see the LED light up and um, this is it I think it turned out great and why I say it's finished 99.999% I do have a beeper here and that will most likely go in here as well i have enough room even though i move the camera back and it's all black on black on black here you can hardly see it but uh yeah you see the light shimmering through here so i do have a little bit of room just be able to fit this to fit not foot to fit this beeper on here and if you lose your drone it starts beeping and the light comes on well the light will be pretty much useless but you will be able to hear it but then again you have I mean if it's far away and out, out, out of sight you have your GPS coordinates that you could use to locate your drone if it's really that hidden anyway uh, now it's time of course to finally fly this thing and today we have snow again so that might be delayed a few days but I can't wait to fly this finally. Um, I have also some other blades, um, yellow ones, and I ordered some blue ones. So that might be, might change them out to add some color to it. But so far I like it. Now let me plug it in and show you the NeoPixels. and just for oh I did actually wrong way I should of course turn on the radio first welcome to open TX switch warning Okay, now we plug it in. And I have three modes on the LEDs, new pixels. First one is this one, or the third or the second, doesn't matter. And they're controlled via this switch on the radio. And I had to put a police light on here as well. So as I said, I have my own controller that you saw here. It's an Atmega 328 that I can program to whatever I like. 
and because the flight controller has many many modes you can show your battery level your signal level your i mean so many different things but while you're flying you're not gonna be able to see that and then figure out oh i have that much and this much and whatnot so this is just for looks and um, if you're flying you will be able to see the lights on the bottom obviously unless you're flying upside down but these are the three modes that i have and somehow on drones you're supposed to have red on the front and green on the back whereas on um, airplanes you have red on the left and green on the right i don't know why they made those different but that's what it is technically of course you can do whatever you like and um, yes i think with those covers the leds are protected as well unless you crash on really something hard and break these covers although they are not brittle as some might think they are flexible so uh, they should not break that easily although i seen or heard that people break the arms of the quad six millimeter carbon fiber so i don't know how fast they're crashing into things but yeah this is it and hopefully next time on my next video i will be able to show you how it is flying what i want to do one more thing here without crashing something here i wanted to arm it and i really like how smooth those motors turn armic switches here It sure is a nice, nice sound. Anyway, this was it for today. If you're interested in any on the prints, these do let me know. One thing I want to change again also is the stop piece because it has those two notches in there. And this one I found I didn't make it. And I guess the person who made it mixed it with some other things that had the openings here. And... I mean, this is how, how bad it is if you're picky so I will make this front different close those holes and print this piece again but other than that I'm really happy how it turned out and um, yeah if you have any questions please do leave them in the comments you can also watch my other oh let me Oh, by the way, the VTX is not plugged in right now, so that's why I'm not worried about overheating the VTX, the video transmitter. And I will plug it in. Yeah, I will plug it in once I'm ready to fly. And um, what I was saying. Oh, you can check out. I have a playlist with the uh, with for the drone, and it's my first build and um, if you want to see the other pieces where i talk and show more of the 3d prints and whatnot please do free feel free to check them out and as i said if you have any questions leave them in the comments and i will answer you uh, anyway this is it thanks for watching and take care everybody